It's Janelle Bromfield, a traitor to Jamaica. A lot of people might think so. We're going to see what the reactions were on Twitter when Noah Lyles won his race for the Paris Olympic Games and the reaction that the Jamaicans had when Janelle embraced him in the stadium. After this, we will discuss. Let me know your thoughts below as you see these images of the Twitter fans reacting to the shocking news of Noah Lyles winning the 100 meters. Let's go. Okay, guys, so you all have seen the reaction from Jamaicans as well as American spectators who saw Janelle Brumfield hug her boyfriend, Noah Lyles. Now, do I believe that Janelle is a traitor? Honestly, I have mixed views and mixed thoughts on this issue. Okay, let me take you guys back a bit. Now, Janelle, according to Noah Lyles, had divulged some quote-unquote Jamaican secrets as it relates to the Jamaican team, the Jamaican camp, Jamaican drama, on the track, off the track, things like that. And him going on a podcast and stating this information for the whole world to see, it did not sit well with a lot of Jamaican fans and spectators. They took this as a way of Janelle being a blabbermouth, telling Noah Lyles what goes on in MVP camp. And then the mere fact that Nell Lyles came on an American podcast to divulge this information, a lot of Jamaican fans were angry in my previous video which i will link to this one um i stated that for janelle to speak about what goes on in mvp while she was a member of the mvp trap club it is understandable for her to divulge this information to her partner because naturally wherever you work if you work at a call center your teacher doctor nurse judge whatever your profession whatsoever happens at work, it is natural for you to tell your partner um, what goes on, the latest scoop, the drama, the workplace drama, if your boss is bothering you, things of that nature. So I can understand and I do see a setting where Janelle is divulging information that goes on and off the truck um, as it relates to Jamaica. No, where I have an issue is that one, I am 100% sure that um Janelle will never say in public that Noah Lyles tells her America's business. And I didn't like the fact that Noah is aware of how the Jamaican fans are and he didn't try to protect her interest um, because he really did not need to divulge that information. See, that could have been private um, and that it was just not necessary for him to say anything. So from that, everyone has been like, Janelle is a traitor because she is divulging Jamaican secret. She's talking about Kishane Thumb kishane's injury she's talking about um other athletes and who is on the upcoming and in a way i do see that as oversharing because at the end of the day even though you're in a relationship with an american you also have to remember that as an athlete you are also an ambassador of this country and you are an ambassador of the track and speed field sports in jamaica and so certain things it should be kept confidential I don't see the need for you to go in detail as it relates to um, Kishane injuries and things of that nature. I think that is a bit weird because at the end of the day, Noah is a 100 and a 200 meter runner. So her 
um spilling secrets for jamaica seeing that jamaica loves the 100 and the 200 especially the 100 in a way some individuals may see that as a slap in the face for team jamaica you know because if the roles were reversed i am pretty sure no i would never tell janelle um any secrets for america or even if it does slip uh he would say to janelle janelle do not let this be public information no where i am concerned for janelle is the fact that she is 26 years of age and at this point in time the level and the magnitude of success that we would have expected from janelle she has fallen short and i don't see her having Having a prominent track career um i could be wrong she could make a u-turn she could um put a pep in her step and become an excellent athlete in the later years as we see with sharika sharika was running the 400 and she stepped down to the 200 100 but for now the performances that janelle brownfield has been bringing forth i do not see them as anything spectacular and so the only time we hear about janelle brownfield is when it comes on to noah lyles i do not like nor appreciate the fact that noah you know, every time we hear of Janelle, it is because of Noah. We never hear of Janelle's because Janelle won a race or because Janelle broke a record or because Janelle did something spectacular in the tracks. And it just seems as if Noah is the star and Janelle janelle is the psychic that is the vibe that is the feeling that i get with this whole relationship i don't like that and i said in my previous video that i hope janelle is not financially dependent on noah i hope that she has her own when she talked about we're not buying her first class ticket or her business class ticket so okay we're not buying it but i hope you're able to afford it yourself because if noah is the one that is flipping the bills noah is the one that is the star you girl you need you 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 you're in danger because as seen on social media he's buying you these cars he's doing all of these things for you if you guys were supposed to break up all of those luxuries would go with noah lyles and so she needs to be careful and tread lightly in this relationship and the fact that she is not really at the same magnitude and level and star power as noah noah is the one that has the upper hand if tomorrow noah wants to get a girlfriend in america i'm pretty sure that won't be hard so Janelle, you know supporting noah i don't have a problem with her supporting noah but i don't like the fact that um it comes off as a bit as a bit naive on her part the the way she's supporting him as well as her saying that the backlash doesn't bother her and um saying that we're not buying her first class ticket and at the end of the day her representation in the jamaican sports it's poor she ran the mixed release the other day in the four by four and jamaica did not win a medal and i know that it was a team effort but the leg that she ran it was poor you know she came third in the jamaica national trials and i was expecting something better i am looking to see janelle brumfield since she she has the the links and all of the um appearances that I know Lyles would have seen that he is her boyfriend. I'm looking to see her even try to measure up to the magnitude of, um, that he's doing and she's falling short. At the end of the day, it's not a good look for Janelle because it seems as if her focus now is just to become the girlfriend or to be known as the girlfriend of Noah Lyles. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is that she is playing partner with this man and, you know, securing, trying to secure this man but he hasn't proposed to her you know hopefully he does in the future but for now they're just boyfriend and girlfriend anything can happen and the vibe that i'm getting is that she is putting noah um in front of her country and if that is really what her heart desires she's gonna have a rough wake-up call um in the future because nothing is certain anything can happen if, if noah decides to break up with her or if they break up she has both wasted her career her years as well as the support of the jamaican people and what does she have to fall back on because sports is a is a is a career that it doesn't last long by the time you're 30 35 40 that's it not even some persons don't even reach 40 most athletes they're done by 35 you have another 30 years to go as it relates to working and and getting another career so does she have anything to fall upon
that is my thing with Janelle. I am very concerned for her and I hope that she doesn't get caught up in the spotlight in the stardom and she can actually regain focus and make a career for herself, a, a, a proper career. I don't want her to be known as Noah Lyle's girlfriend. I want her to be known as Janelle Brumfield, the 400 meter medalist, the 400 meter Olympian. Now we have the 400 meter woman coming up later on this week. Let us see what she's going to produce as it relates to her being a traitor you let me know if you believe she's a traitor down in the comments below you are going to tell me your thoughts and opinions you think she's sell out jamaica you think jamaicans are overreacting do you think that um she is a traitor let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one thanks